How's it going guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Off The Radar in the Reeds. It's a little bit of a no permit needed alternative fishing. Me and my pal Connor campaigned this water back in the springtime. So yeah, you can sort of see the campaign and how we tackled the venue like this. But yeah, check it out, Off The Radar in the Reeds. It is filmed raw style, enjoy. I'm telling you, we're in the bits out here. Bainsy reckons we're lost. No, we're not lost, we're not off. <laughs> I reckon we come in over to the left here, B, and we've walked up and we, we've just come out over here. But yeah, to, for us to try and get beds through this, this is like, it's a little coot run. And we're just following that towards the end of the pin we're walking on now. We're a very long way out on an island. This is it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> this is going to be where the two bed chairs are going to go. We're going to come on a little baiting up mission tomorrow. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, left hand side of the swim. Imagine you've got a run. There we go, probably about 20 steps, not too bad. We're going to clear it out a little bit more tomorrow. So yeah, here's back to the base. So if it was the other person. This one's a bit less, about 16 to 18 steps. But this is it. This is the first setup. We're ready to go, baiting up mission tomorrow. And then yeah, we're going to start fishing maybe in one week's time, I reckon, but we're going to come bait up tomorrow, like I said, clear a bit more of the swim out. You won't see that. But yeah, next time you see me and Connor, we're going to be fishing down here. So we'll see you then. Boom. What we're doing is we could flip each time we come, but we do do that in some places like the canal. But we're going to have a one dedicated side and then just stick to that side every time we come. So Bainsy's done the straws here now. Uh, so long straw. Left. Left. Short, Short straw. straw. Right. Okay. Right. That is the short straw. Some on the right. Yeah. Okay. Boom. There we go. Right. Talk about a wild one. No permit needed and all that. It's definitely yeah. gonna be a uh, a stash job with the old bed chairs, which we're gonna come and do. We're gonna stash one tomorrow, one on Wednesday. And then yeah, it's on, mate. Ridiculously hot. Just having a little rest. Waiting up for B. Such thick, dense foliage where we are. We call this bit the swamps. Yeah, yeah, we come through the swamps. And now we've got the good bit. This stuff's just getting ready. As you can see, we're a mess. One. We've got rods all over the shop. There we go. 20 minutes. We've had two big ones as well definitely bigger than this fish first one 20 minutes I need to get it back quickly because that rod needs to get out now mate oh, here we go thank you lovely common <laughs> hey, what does that what the fuck does that look like on the camera <laughs> <laughs> What are you eating, Bain? King's milk. This is a sleeping arrangement. Bushcraft style. Little bit of fishing that you wouldn't usually see, you know. This is the sort of stuff that I really love doing. Bainsy loves doing as well, getting more involved with the old no permit this needed is like life. Around, isn't it? This is it. People call it guesting. Other people call, I like, people call it poaching, but that does sound a bit sinister. I like no permit needed. Oh, Bainsy said to me, oh, come on right now. Yeah. Oh, up, down. Up, down, left, left, They're definitely it's, on the bait. They're definitely on the bait. It's a lot of effort to get down there, and that fish seals it, makes it worth it, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? We was going to do another night this week, but we're not going to do that. We're going to bait instead, basically. We're going to proper give it to them in, in the past. I think baiting them in hard first is just a better way of getting... Yeah, just, it's just a better way of doing it. When I was looking yeah, down mate. on the mat, I was thinking. Yeah, mate, that's amazing but still. There we go, just gone midnight, second bite. Yeah, we knew there was a few carp in here, but we weren't expecting anything like this. You know, we was having chats in the van saying, oh, there might be some real old ones. We had a feeling, but yeah, look at that. We haven't weighed it yet, but it's a proper chunk. First fish, definitely on the pre-bait. 
Yeah, we're going to get some of these battles on the cod, but this is just the first night of the minute. We're just sort of learning the lay of the land. It's not meant to be here. But yeah, bang it, look at that. Maybe never been caught. Sounds of them birds is gnarly, isn't it? The second fish for me. Ridiculous mate, I was saying to Baines when I was playing it, it's definitely gonna be a bigger fish. Me and Baines, this woke me and Baines up this bite. I was saying, get the waders on, get the waders on. My line was going through the bushes. But yeah, we're just about to weigh this one now. These carp are unreal, massive fins, big wrists, real muscular fish. But yeah, buzzing, we're gonna slip him back because Baines, you've always got one and oh. Jesus Christ, mate. Buzz in, mate. Nice and easy. Pink pop up. Match the hatch. Toddies. Fucking toddies, mate. <laughs> Go. Just got some bait out of the van. Oh my days! Crave and worm liquid. So simple, so powerful. It's snowing. <laughs> yeah, just got here. Just chuck one rod out. Yeah, we got snow minus two tonight and a massive wind. And no, see what happens. Isn't he? What do we call him? Neville. Our bangs he's recovering, I should say, from a broken rib. And he's got a brolly that just randomly closes when it fancies. Oh, you flag. Two duck breasts. Red onions, red peppers, a bit of pit of bread. Freeze. There we go, minus three, mini brolly with tarp modification job. And then the old bushcraft sleeping bag again. Yeah, sun's out, belting down on our water now. Real bronze in the colour. There we go, a couple of hours before first night. Fish Tuesday night this week and it was proper freezing, same last night, minus two. Be yeah, right at the coldest point of the night, 20 pound common, banging. Another fish, third, uh, it's our fifth fish now. Yeah, more bait's gone in today, we'll be back next week. Here as well. Here we go then, just on a little baiting up mish in the rain. Yeah, heading to the spot now, about halfway, just about to uh, go through the swamp. Yeah, fishing tomorrow, fish Tuesday, yesterday. Got a nice little common as well. Heard a few fish roll as well, so definitely in the area. Yeah, get down there, put some bait in. So here we go then, just got to the spot. Little bait up mission in the old pouch, a few uh, craves and a few tigers as well. So I'm gonna get this bait out. And yeah, fishing tomorrow. Last, last session, little common, definitely fishing the area as well. Heard them boshing last time. But yeah, buzzing, let's get a bit gearing. There we go. Gently slide the putty through the bag. That keeps everything protected. You can just drop it lovely on the cast there. Yeah, homemade crave hook bait, marine halibut pellet.
getting a lot of liners. Just untying the sack cord, the left rod absolutely melted off next to me. And yeah, now we've got two nice fish, so lovely times. Let's have a look. Yeah, I love a common, and this one's mean as hell, perfect shape. But yeah, buzzing, don't get any better than that. Yeah, I was just undoing the sack cord as well, caught this one about two, three in the morning. So yeah, sacked him up. I was just uh, about to get him out then, and my left rod's just peeled off as well, so. Fantastic time. Gonna slip this fish back, have a look at the other one, a bit smaller. Yeah, result. Off the radar, in the reeds. Love it, overnight, two fish. And yeah, to me that is two absolutely gorgeous fish. Maybe uncaught, probably uncaught. Yeah, don't get any better. It's in there. Yes. <laughs> it's a good start to the session, isn't it? Look at that, babe. Beautiful. There we go then, off the radar in the reeds. Special guest Pascal come down for a session. Yeah, I was just. Obviously the birds are really bad on there, they got cast out in the dark. Yeah, spooked a few fish recently in close, like rod length out, just sitting near my rods and swam into my lines. So yeah, I thought can't hurt, single, cut the singles, single tiger nut. Yeah, we was just sitting there, just talking about how nice the mirrors were in there, funnily enough. And yeah, banging, look at that. Tasty. Yeah, banging, check that out, fish already. And uh, I thought I recognised it, it did look very similar. I checked the photos, it's the same one Connor had on our first session here, so. It is the same one, yeah, I was just looking through the pictures. Pascal's just flicked her rods out now for her first go. Oh, It's like a lever, almost, isn't it? Common. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go, end of the road, fam. Said I had a good feeling about tonight, didn't I? <laughs> Blood of rain after a dry spell. There we go, Pascal's my lucky charm, I think. Is that common I was just playing? Yeah, real another mint fish. I love commons, and this lake seems to be full of these absolute perlers, so. Yeah, banging fish, gonna do a few shots, get him back, get the rods out for a start. Bomb, just finishing up at work, it's fishing night tonight. Yeah, it's been a quiet few weeks, just a couple of small commons between me and Connor. And yeah, we've been pre baiting, we've had a week or two off, so we'll see you down the lake.
Just got a few chops in that PVA bag. I've just tied up that hair on that bottom bait. So as I cast that, that hair won't ever tangle and spin. Nice and simple. Show you this method, it's two foot out there, super soft. So what I'm doing is casting out, you'll see now. As it gets to where I want, trapping it, letting the rod go straight, letting that line stretch. Boom, and then just raising that tip two foot like that. So here we go, rod number two. Again, on that bottom bait, just gently tying up that hair with the PVA bag. Yeah, one of me homemade Crave hardened hook baits on there. Tiger nut on that other one. This is the same here, a little bit further and to the left this one's going. So there we go, if rod goes out, trap, slight raise, just two foot, lovely. Mad angry, isn't he? Yeah. I don't even think he's ever been caught there. Banging. Banging 20 pound common. First session back, had a few weeks off, been working early. Absolutely chuffed mate. And this is it from me and Clive. We've got another little adventure coming up. We're gonna let these fish spawn. Bang it, look at that. Here we go, as far as common goes, that is an absolute belter. Long, dark, full of power. Yeah, we're working our way through these fish now. It's definitely a big one on the cards. We're gonna keep the bait going in. Yeah, back in the radar, back in the reeds, off the radar, whatever, whatever. So there we go, there's the end of the video. Thank you for watching to the end, and for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.